Okay, um, so what we're going to try today is hopefully a world first, which is um, we've written a swimming uh, app and a swimming algorithm for the Apple Watch. Um, quite a lot of people have already done waterproof testing with the Apple Watch, so we're pretty confident that it'll um, stand up to to the pool. But um, before, if you're going to do this yourself, just make sure that you um, know that I think it probably voids your warranty and. Uh, Officially, the iWatch um, isn't really certified for swimming. Um, but what, what we've done is we've taken an existing swimming app that we wrote for the uh, Pebble Watch and um, we've just ported it to the Apple Watch. Uh, so what we're going to do today is uh, test swimming. Uh, initially, we're just going to go four lengths and hopefully this is going to tell us uh, four times 50 meters, so 200 meters. And uh, the Apple Watch will also give us the same 200 meters. Um, so we've been using the Apple Watch Beta 2, um, here you can see our, uh, our little app is the one without an icon at the moment, um, and we've hooked up to the healthcare APIs to be able to start a workout. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press the app, which then loads it up into the screen here. Uh, you can see that we're currently at the uh, London Aquatic Centre, which is the current Olympic venue, and probably one of the best pools in the world. So uh, a real perfect place to test, test this out. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a force touch on the screen, brings up our menu, I'm going to start a swim and, uh, and then we'll report back and see uh, whether it's got the right amount of lengths or not. Um, and just to note as well, I'll also hopefully read my heart rate and it'll just have a small uh, timer as well. So here goes. So um, I'm just going to start our Pebble app. So Swim.io Pebble app, Oops. new swim. It's set up to be 50 meter pool. I'm gonna start that and then over here I'm gonna uh, wake up the screen, force touch, try and force touch. It seems like the water kind of slightly gets in the way uh, and then hit start. Okay and the timer starts ticking off. I've got a heart rate of 88. Let's go. Whoop. Wake the Apple Watch up. It says zero now. We just run an algorithm over the accelerometer there that it's collected, and it'll say four. And over here, we have four, four laps, 200 meters. Slightly out of breath. Uh, so there it is working. Unfortunately, at the moment, the, the Apple Watch won't give us uh, instant lap time. You see that when I came up, it said zero. It's because only when the screen's on can it uh, run through the data samples that we've collected when you've been swimming. But um, it, nevertheless, it collects it all properly in here. You can actually see this update in my heart rate to uh, 138. Oh, go away, Siri. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Um, we kind of hope that Apple will make sure that the next iWatch is waterproof. Um, and hopefully, you know, for those of us that do swim, we'll get the same kind of first class experience that uh, runners and cyclists get with technology. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll write a blog post with the technical details. Uh, goodbye.